Well, one of India's most closely guarded secrets is the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. It's produced missiles like the Agni, which is the backbone of India's nuclear deterrent. Last week, there was controversy over whether the program was shutting down and why. Well, NDTV brings you the answer from those secret laboratories in Hyderabad. It's the first time any private news channel has been allowed inside. Ajay Shukla has this exclusive report. One. Only the Trishul has not passed its tests. The program has achieved its aims. Integrated guided missile program. Today, the the the, the date for that is 31st December 2008. We have administrative approvals to continue to continue the work up to 31st December 2008. 31st December 2008 would be the should date. be the should be the last date for completing the IGMDP stated objectives. But outside the integrated guided missile project launched by Dr. Abdul Kalam in 1983, several other missiles have come good. But here in Hyderabad at the many missile development laboratories, work continues on a large number of different missiles. This one for example is an anti-missile missile. It shoots down an enemy missile at altitudes of greater than 40 kilometers. All this is necessary, says the DRDO, because international sanctions are still in place. Every component of each of these missiles must be produced in India. Most of the labs working on missiles are on, under the banned list. And we have taken it more as a challenge and the opportunity to indigenize our systems and that's how today Agni has 100% indigenous technology. As Agni's reach grows, sanctions will only strengthen.